Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, I want to talk to you today about a heater. It is a S1104C. I'll write that out. Okay, this is a 240 volt option only. I am not dealing with this right here because I do not have a unistat. I'm dealing with this because I have a wall stat up here. This is a very unusual heater. In all my 21 years of wiring, you never cap a wire and leave it like this. This is very bizarre. But in the instructions, because you're not running through blue to blue with a unistat, you have to cap it. If you don't cap it, you will blow it up. Okay? So, real simplistic. This is a 240 volt disconnect. The blue has to be ran through through the thermal fuse. Okay? This is a thermal fuse. This is a reset, resettable thermostat, which could be a high, low limit. This is a fan delay. Stays on a little longer until it cools down. This is your motor. And this is your fan from the motor shaft. Okay. This is considered A. A is here, and it's capped. Very bad instructions. Basically, your this is your your switch in your wall, and you're capping this. Okay, so this is a black. They don't really tell you this with these wires. It doesn't help you. This is black. Okay. This is blue, which they show you a dot, but it really extends long. And this is black. I've sat here for about an hour, banging my head, wondering why I couldn't get a motor to start at 240 on the fan. And that's because I had about a different couple combinations and it didn't work. But the bottom line is, is that these two don't matter. This is a white with a black because Article 200 says you must identify if you don't have a red and a black. Your white has to be re-identified. So just take a Sharpie. But this doesn't matter if it's this way or if you flop it. It doesn't know the difference but going black to black on one part of the harness and black to black. So you could swap that harness and it wouldn't matter. What matters is that this blue comes through the thermal fuse to have a check, um, the resettable thermostat, comes down into here, and once it hits this bottom element right here, this means it's going through the wattage, or excuse me, the element creating that wattage. So basically, power is gonna trace one leg through this thermal fuse to do a check, go through the motor, come through the motor, go through the fan delay, come through the fan delay, and this, this just caps. Well, you might as well just pull it off. But once it goes through the fan delay, then see right here, it actually comes back here, and then it goes down. But it does jump her across. Well, you don't want to remove that because that means then you're going to have a lower wattage because it says the red jumper right here means that you're a lower wattage and it explains it in the back back here, okay? But it does say that run field wiring from the circuit breaker to this thermostat, then connect blue lead A with the heater to the field load and then connect it to the supply of the thermostat of the two black pigtails. That's, I believe, if you're doing a 120 from what I can gather on that. But on the 240 version, follow this schematic on figure number three for an S1104C 240 volt. This is called a toe kick heater, okay, because it it's by your toe and you kick it. And the bottom line is you will just cap or get rid of this. It doesn't matter because I do not have a unistat. So again, power will come up and it'll go two ways. Now this harness it is actually a bit monkey proof because it has a slide on it. So 
when you slide it, the power coming in here is going through the thermal fuse to check to the motor. Then it goes down into your element to heat. The other side of the blue comes across the thermal fuse and down to the other element. What you have to pay attention to is right here. Don't worry about this blue, it's capped. You might as well just throw it off, rip it away, whatever. You could just cut it off and cap it. But this right here, come down here so you can see it. This right here is an element, here to here, and I ohmed it out 53 ohms of resistance. When you have that, it's opposite of this other side of the black. Because again, this is a, t a fan delay coming backwards to the other 240 right here. So you're not going to blow that up, but you do have to pay attention. And it took me a while to figure out how to trace that. I'm so used to 120, but this is 240. Anyways, go ahead and hit the unistat. you got to make sure you got 240 down here too. And there, now I finally have the fan on. And it's a decent amount of current, but you can unplug it. And then right here, just go to your voltmeter, and you're going to check it. I gave you the female side so you can check your power. So you got 240. So if your if your thermostat is going bad, your wall stat, that's gonna throw you off too. Okay. Anyways, hopefully the video helped you out. Nobody else has got a video on this, and I have racked my brain for almost an hour and a half, and the customer wants to eat dinner and kick me out. So the bottom line, guys, is um, hopefully this video will help you, but it is pretty frustrating. These instructions, these people draw for a living and they do a horrible job. Thanks.